from the great halls of their house, there are assembled three who hope to one day be the world's greatest driving heroes. Created from the cosmic legends of the universe comes our team captain, the Vision, Bill Fisher. Their soon-to-be Wonder Woman, Vicki Fisher. Our Captain Marvel and head flight trainee, Jennifer Scripchuk. And our Batman, the master of tools, gadgets, and all things mechanical, our mild-mannered soon-to-be billionaire, Alan Danvers. Their mission, to fight injustice, share what is right and wrong, to get you out of your house and come out racing with them, and serve all mankind. They are the Garage Heroes in Training Team. Captain's Log Supplemental. Miss Vicky. Yes, sir. You know what? What? You know, I've been thinking about this Sentinel system. Yeah. Tell me about the Sentinel system. So what I was thinking was we have the one car that's got the aim dash that's slowing us down. Because mm -hmm. installing the aim dash is actually it probably is easy, but it's quite hard the first time. And we haven't figured that out yet. The Sentinel system is really easy to set up. So what I was thinking was, why don't we put it in the uh, Lemons car and we'll worry about the AIM data information separately and we'll, we'll kind of break it down into a project because then we'd have the motorsports video system that we really, really want and we'd be able to stream it. We just won't have all the data inside, but we have the data X outside so we can combine them later. But I think that's a really good solution. So what does the, what does this uh, Sentinel system do? Well, w if it had the aim data, it would have all the data on the screen and you could see all their telemetry and everything live. But we'd be able to not only record it for viewing after the race, but we could actually watch our car during the race. Ooh, like on the monitor and everything? On a monitor? Or if you were at home and I was at a track or if you were at the track and I was at home, you know, depends depends on who gets the little short straw, but we'd be able to watch each other. You know, it's something I've always wanted to do. And you know what? If you're driving, you know what you can do on the aim, on the Sentinel system? What's that? You can communicate to me with your hands and I can't do a thing about it. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, if you need to give a wave or a jersey wave, whatever you need. We could save it and see it on the screen. And then you can have up to three different cameras and it'll have picture in picture. You'll have the basic main shot out the front window and then two cameras where you put them wherever you want. One could be on the driver or one could be on the rear view. It's kind of cool. Then we can upload it onto YouTube. We could. We could bore millions of people on YouTube. I love it. All right. Very well. You know what uh, the only downside I see about this? But your mom and my mom are going to be panic stricken the entire weekend watching this thing to see if everything's going well. This is true. We probably shouldn't tell them. I like the idea of having a sentinel. Mm -hmm. Well, luckily we have them. maybe two. Depends on how things go. We're going to try. All right. That sounds like a plan. That's the sounds, project. We got to get that ready sounds, for the next race. Sounds great. All right. Very well. Thank you, ma'am. Ben Dawson, Ben Dawson. I've got an idea for a dominating with Dawson. Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. I do. You know why? Because we, we have the, the lovely Wilson sisters are here. That's Ooh. a fact. Yeah, we do. Hey. Sitting, in, hey. sitting in the same room. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. This, this can't go well. All right. So I was thinking. <laughs> it's just beginning. <laughs> in honor. I know. In honor <laughs> of the upcoming. Right, Anytime, ladies. Anytime. Stay with me. Stay with me. <laughs> Ding dong. Look at my face. Anyway, in <laughs> honor of the upcoming one lap of America, I thought we could go with tracks that are super fun to drive that we've all been to. Oh, cool. I've done a few really fun ones. Really? Mr. What's your funnest? Yeah. What is your funnest? <laughs> Sounds like a Beach Boys song. <laughs> the uh the absolute most fun track on the entire planet is road, road atlanta everybody knows road atlanta is the best track so except I've for the back straight in a, a chevy s10 pickup truck <laughs> you know there's games you can play on that back stretch too to make it more entertaining don't watch out for the deer 
that's, I've never seen any deer there. That's kind of scary. To I hear. had yeah, deer that came right across in front of me. Yes. So oh, every wow. time you guys went, it was raining or snow, it was snowy, wasn't it? Right on the edge. Yeah. Right on the edge. Yeah. So Ben, when do you do Rotolana usually? Is it like a summer or? I think I've only been in there like uh, spring and winter. I've been there with lemons twice with good weather. I've got a couple of years where we had good weather with cold. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been there with uh, WRL one year in the spring, like years ago. And then I've done AER there in like March. So mostly, mostly kind of colder weather or moderate temperatures. But, but I mean, it's also it's Georgia. So everything is relative. Everything's fairly, fairly moderate compared to what you people are used to. Um, but yeah, for me, that, that, that's a track that has a lot of cachet for me because I, I was always available on, you know, some of the earliest sim computer sim games I had. A lot of them would often have Road Atlanta. I don't know if they had something different with their licensing, but it would it would often be on computer and sim games. Uh, so I just I got used to driving it virtually. And it was one of the tracks that I really clicked with versus some other tracks that were often on similar games. Like I never got I never felt good about Laguna Seca, but I always felt felt like if I could go to Road Atlanta in real life, I could drive the hell out of that place. And it looks so fun. And then once I finally got there, it, it was confirmed. I was like, yes, the place is amazing. But, you know, I love all the big speed stuff there and the big, uh, big sweep and turns. That big downhill turn at the end is a blast. So, um, it, and it's just so much, so much high speed stuff that turns uh, uh, six and seven. That turn six is such a big high speed sweep. Or turn five mm -hmm. is high speed and scary. If you're doing it right, you feel like you're about to spin to the inside. It's, uh, it's crazy. I love that place. I will be the S's. there. I will be there in May. What, what do you doing? have going on in May, Mr. Bill? One lap of America is going to Brother Atlanta this year. So wait, 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 just, 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 this is a, this is kind of in service of your uh, coming up uh, one lap experience. Can you tell everybody what you're going to be doing? Are you driving what the whole deal is real quick? We are going to be, uh, we have locked up DFL. We are going to be dead last. All right. Um, and we are driving, <laughs> we are driving in Honda fit and, Excellent. uh, our uh, former podcast guest and sometimes co-host Tim Fokine is going to be my partner in crime. And uh, we are going to show people how to drive extremely slowly at every single track that we go to. <laughs> That's awesome. You, know. you got to <laughs> start somewhere. Mm -hmm. You guys will absolutely not be the slowest. <laughs> well, yeah. it, it might be in the, uh, I, I, as the background, I have the, uh, the trip from one lap. That is the path that we will be taking. So, so are there any tracks on there, Mr. Bill, that you have done before? There is. Can Which you one? share? Uh, Road Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> that it? I believe that is it. No, NCM. Uh, I did NCM and Road Atlanta. So how many tracks are there? I think there's 12. Wow. Okay. Which one are you most looking forward to? Uh, I'm least looking forward to Hallett from what I've heard. But uh, what is it yeah. about Hallett? I think how it's supposed to be one of those like scary tracks. So, big boy tracks? Uh, big, no, scary track, I think, more than big boy Define track. scary. Um, really fast. And uh, from what I've heard, cool. it's it can be, uh, in order to go fast, you have to go really fast, and the edge is quite edgy mm -hmm. from what I've heard. I haven't done it yet. I haven't burst it out the sim yet because it's still in boxes. Everything's still in boxes. Everything is in boxes. So I'm sure one lap's been covered, but um, it's it's not all just track, right? Is don't you do the like only thing that counts for your score is how you do on the tracks, and then in between each of the tracks, you have a you have to travel. You know, so you you'll get to a track in the morning. You'll do some racing in the morning. Then you'll either move or stay at the same track, do some racing in the afternoon, and then the total of those times mm -hmm. counts as your score. Um, so you get ranked, and then you travel from when you're done to the next track, and you get points for every um, successive uh, event that you go to. And it's um, if you come in last, it's five points. If you come in next to last, it's 10 points. It's five points for every place. So if you win by a quarter of a second, you get maximum amount of points. Let's say there's 20 teams, so you'd get 100 points. And if you win by three minutes, uh, you also would get 100 points. So uh, the five-point increment. So it's kind of fun. And uh, we're going to do like 4,700 miles. <laughs> it's wow. crazy. And, you, and you're not allowed to take anything with you spare no, tire you can take no, a spare tire. tire one spare and anything you can carry 
and you're not allowed to have any support vehicles or trucks or anything. So whatever fits. That's awesome. It sounds terrifying. Well, you'll be there next year, so don't worry. He said I could go, but I would be the the sixth tire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'd be She's always tired. <laughs> and you guys, you're not you're not allowed anything softer than the 200 tire, right? That's right. <laughs> you're riding in the back seat with the tire. I just see Jennifer roll over. It's 6 p.m. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Well, ladies, what's your what's your fun track? Mr. Mr. Dawson said uh, Road Atlanta is the winner for him. Oh, it's not like you didn't know this was coming. I don't know. I don't know if it's my favorite, but I I really liked it when we went to Ohio, Mid Ohio, Mid Ohio, Mid Ohio. Yeah, that was really fun. And you know, I hated the track, and I hated you Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> but I really love it Sunday. Was was Saturday the rain day and Sunday the dry day? Pardon? Was Saturday the rain day and Sunday the dry Saturday day? Saturday was the rain day, and you and you guys were telling me how terrible it was. In that the was rain her because it was so slick in the rain, and it one, was now share share why it's so now slick. just now just, wait. now just wait. One, the person who told you and scared you was her. Why do you hate me? And two, it was her. So why do you hate me? <laughs> anyway it was it was a great track and um yeah it, it was it's very big and there's a lot of turns and they were they were really hard to learn but yeah yeah it was pretty awesome it's you know uh, mid ohio mid ohio is one of the very challenging tracks mm -hmm. to be on you yeah. really you really have to be on your game for that one yes mr dawson have you done mid ohio i believe I uh, have not had a chance to go yet. We need to drag you up here. When's this play going to end so you can come play? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's mostly more of a he, play. He is, he's time. on a very long play date right yeah. now. <laughs> very long one. Yeah, exactly. It's more of a play, more of a play date situation than, uh, yeah. than the play the plague anymore. Yeah, I need to, I need to bust out more often. Than that. Luckily, luckily, I think my kids are starting to play more together and be a little bit less labor intensive. So maybe there'll be more opportunities to get out and about some more. Okay. All right, Miss Vicky, what's your uh, what's your fun favorite? I think pit race is one of my favorites. Yeah. Why? Pit race. Why? Nostalgic. It did. Yeah, it didn't used to be. Mm -hmm. But I think it's because that it's just such a long track, and there's a lot going on with that track. That doesn't exactly explain why it's your favorite. If you're going to talk about it in that manner. Well, I mean, sometimes when you go to the tracks and the tracks are smaller, they're not that diverse in in topography. So out at pit race, because it's such a large track, I mean, it's got great turns, it's got the bowl, it's got the S's, it's it's got it's got everything. It's got snow. It's got snow. It's got ice. It's got it's rain. It's got our first wind. It's got it our first wind. Our <laughs> first and only, by the way. Yeah. Unless you count go karting. Well, that, well, I mean, you know what? We really should spend a year when we get everything pulled together. When our lives all get pulled back together in about a year or two. Um, but um, we really should work to see if we can level, just like take the season very seriously and. That's not this year. No, it's not this year. It may not even be next year. <laughs> <laughs> the way things are going, no, maybe not. But uh, yeah. that's the goal. We'll do that. Yeah, but but I, I really think that would be a, a really good challenge because having that win and not knowing that we were winning. No, we knew. I just didn't tell oh, you. Yeah, but you know, till the very end, it's like, oh, oh, we're we're winning. Okay, by, by quite a lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> It was good. It was a good race. <laughs> it was a good race. It was a good feeling. It was. It's, it's amazing when you don't get black flags and you, your car doesn't break. What happens? I mean, what was it during the Lemons race when they said that that we were in the lead and we were winning? What was it? Uh, Eric Rose was like, get the F out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Those guys, they never get out of their engine bay. <laughs> Never get out of the paddock. They're always working on their truck. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And we do. <laughs> see what happens. See what happens when our brakes don't catch on fire. It's always awesome. <laughs> yeah. So fun tracks. Fun tracks for me. I will go with <clears throat> It Race is my favorite. But I had a lot of fun always at New Jersey Thunderbolt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What and, appeals to you? And uh I had a lot of fun when we were at safety track, although driving, mm-hmm. driving around safety track, I don't know how they got the word safety in the title because <laughs> if you mess up, it's a tree. And uh, it's, narrow, it's narrow, isn't it? It is. It's very narrow, very wiggly. And there's, there's like track, a little bit of grass, tree. And, and it's uh, a little bit like, whoop, 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 yep. right? Like kind of soupy. Yeah. yeah. But it it was fun. It, it's not a ten ten track. It's a uh, a nice comfortable eight tenths track, and and don't go any farther than that. So, but it was a good time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It yeah. was a hilly. Oh, tra- tra- oh crap! I mean, it was it was not, it, it was a hilly track. It was. Yeah. Mr. Dawson, you had uh, something that came to mind. Yeah, I gotta say, Thunder Hill East is definitely my uh, second, like uh, very close second place. Thunder Hill is an amazing place. I want to do that the the total the big one so 25 bad. hour i yeah well the 25 for sure but i definitely want to go do the the oh, full the, the whole hill. five yeah five yeah. mile yeah. yeah specifically about the three mile east course is where i got started before they <laughs> even had the other course and it's so much fun a lot of elevation fast turns these wilson sisters man what is up <laughs> they are out of control they don't even mute. They just keep going. <laughs> did you root? Did you roofie both of them? I t- it, it seems content that way. Jen warning. took a nap. Sorry, and, you know, the whole... Sorry. Content, content warning. I should have said that. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> cut that. Cut that. Cut it. Let's cut. No worries. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. What, what about challenging tracks, ladies? I mean, oh, Mid Ohio. Mid Ohio. Absolutely. What's the name of that corner? Uh, Keyhole. Madness. Keyhole, madness. 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 Oh so madness God. is Carousel. a. Isn't that madness, a bit fast? Like turn in the middle of a straightaway? Is that the one? It's not fast. It's uh, uh it's got a diagonal answer. crest. <laughs> got a diagonal crest. Plus, it's off camber past the uh midpoint to the outside <laughs> yeah and it's like 160 degrees it is a wild ride it and is that's that's the one where you just hold on it's one of those turns ben where you go around it and you never say i got it no matter what you did it's a pucker yeah. corner <laughs> that, oh, that, that sounds that sounds a lot like bitch at, at vr which is like a seriously decreasing radius you know near near full near full turnaround yep. it, 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 if it's not off camera on the way out it sure feels like it. you can't you can never get on the gas You're like finally can i get on the gas can i get on the gas can i get on the gas nope not yet yeah, yeah. And, 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 and you know and if you just don't wait for that car to settle you just oh, yeah. You you're just off. slap it right into the wall, right? You know? yeah. <laughs> I mean, not the wall, but you're off. I mean, there's, yeah. there's no, no, but yeah, you, you definitely, I mean, I think that was when we had our friend Doug who had a Miata and he ended up coming around and he just kept going and like his car just kept going. He lost it. He, he um, lost traction and just skidded off into the inside. Yeah. He, went he came off, back across. He came back across, hit the wall. And mm-hmm. I mean, it was nothing like, I mean, I'm sure there was some denting, but he, he had to fix his tie rod and straighten out his tire stuff. And, you know, Miata, they're just easy. I think the, yeah. the favorite part of that repair was they're like, and Bill didn't even help. I'm like, I did help. I got out of the way and let you guys fix it. <laughs> yeah. What turn what, at Watkins Glen? What's that turn at the bottom? And <laughs> there's boot. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that's another one. What turn number are we thinking about? Was that the boot at the Watkins Glen? Uh, Watkins Glen. I know. I never learned. I never learned laces or boot or any of that stuff. Yeah. Is it toward the end of the lap, or is it right after the? Right after the, uh, the... Uh, it's kind of a little past halfway. Right. Is it after the? Is it after the bus stop? Yeah. Gotcha. So it's down to the old course. Is that right? Mm-hmm. I think so. 
that's that big left hander that, that you end up right by the wall. Yeah, it's on the right. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's so hard to tell where to break for that one and where to and where to get back on the gas, the right place. Like what steering angle should I be apexing this thing early? Should I be apexing it late? Uh, our friend, a friend of the pod, Ian Cor's brother, uh, wrecked the dog piss out of his Miata there uh, in an AER race. So yeah, we were at spot. an HPD and there was a it it was a Mini Cooper, I think. Mm-hmm. Somebody wrecked. Badly. Badly. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't oh, was him, it was his oh. friends. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. It, yeah. it was his uh, yeah. yeah. It was that's a really a place instructor. You... It was the instructor. He... It was and really it was a mini by the time he got driving. done with it. Oh, wow. And they were together like... in the car and he lost it and he went oh. face first into the wall. Yeah, front wheel drive. You go on the gas maybe too early at that place. You just don't go, bam, right in the wall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, what you don't the walls until you hit them. <laughs> wow. Trying to control the, the Wilson sisters is going to be fun. Uh, uh, Mr. Dawson, save me. What's a, what challenging track for you? Uh, I think one of the ones that's the most consistently challenging physically and, and just from trying to get the course and figure out what you're doing there uh, is the relative recent addition in the Southeast uh, is a and Atlanta Motorsports Park. Oh, okay. Um, it's, it's really like nestled in the North Georgia mountains and it uses them you know, a lot of, a lot of elevation. And, um, they had, uh, they had this guy who designs a lot of, uh, formula one tracks, uh, come and design the track in the, uh, up in these mountains. The guy's name is Herman Tilka. Um, and it's just, it's, just, they really, really use the geography well. And it is, it's a hard place to go fast. Yeah. I don't even, I, I mean, I, I'd be fine if I never raced there again the rest of my life. It's a it, not just not because it's challenging, but just also because it's just not that fun to be. It's just not that fun of a place to be. But but to do well there, it takes a lot of work uh, physically and mentally. It's, yeah. it's also one of these laps that's really busy. You never get a break there. Never at all. You're just on the ball all the time. Uh, the the a couple of people I respect is, in their opinion, they said it was a really good time attack track. But it's not Probably. a good racetrack because you can't really pass. Yeah, it's uh, you got to be pretty assertive sometimes <laughs> to get it done at A and B. But then again, I can show you guys a video of uh, of me driving there in the rain where I pass about thirty cars in one lap. So it's yeah. all subjective. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I, I guess they didn't say it, you can't really pass. It's it's a it's a tough track for racing. That's the way they put it. It, 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 it is. It is. It's 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 brutal. <laughs> it's a short track and it's like a minute and 30 something lap in a really pretty fast car but it, it beats the crap out of you mm-hmm. so let me ask you mr dawson mm-hmm. what is your what is your dream track what would you what track would you like to do the one, that always to... Pop, the one that always pops out in my mind is spa and, mm-hmm. uh, and where is that in belgium ones belgium, belgium. Yeah, Belgium. Sorry, <laughs> spaced out. Yeah, uh, that looks like a really fun track to drive. And I've always seen video of it. Uh, and just I always thought that would be the place I would like to drive. If I had a chance to go. I mean, because also, I mean, if I had places, I would have said in, in this country. Luckily enough, I've gotten to do most of them, like Watkins Glen, uh, Sears Point, Laguna Seca, Road Atlanta. So I've already gotten to kind of knock off some of the big crown jewel places I would want to drive here. So I would head to Europe and do spa. Announcement, announcement, team announcement. Vis Vicky is going to get the cross off a of bucket list track this summer or late. Yeah, summer. Don't me up. Yep. Where? She's I going to take on the kink. The at, what? At Road America. <gasps> All right. I'm excited. That's, an, that's another one. Right behind Spy is Road America for me, as far as places I haven't driven yet that I would love to. Well, you know, you know, Mr. Dawson. Uh, as as we have spoken a couple times, not frequently, but a couple times, when if this podcast were ever to make any money, and we would we were <laughs> we are putting the money together for our trip to uh, the ring and spa, and <laughs> and uh, if anyone feels like putting the first dollar into the coffer, just let me know at garageyearsandtraining at gmail dot com, and uh, yeah. we're we're quite far away from our our goal. <laughs> yeah, join the patreon please exactly. join the join the join the patreon we do not have yes exactly yeah we should be uh, specific there's no patreon <laughs> there is not soon 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 to, to maybe never happen but we'll see 
Miss Vicky, Miss Jen, you guys got a uh, a track you need to go to? You guys really weren't real, you know, like super duper into racing before we started doing it. So I don't know if that it's not like you grew up saying, oh, I can't wait to go to blah, blah, blah. But, I don't know. We're into it now. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I, I really don't have any that I yeah. aspire to. Just yeah. the next one, right? Just the next one, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. VIR. VIR. Yeah. I, like the, I like the idea that, you know, that it, a couple of years ago, like we picked an away track to go to mm-hmm. it every season. So that was kind of fun. But Bill, you've just kind of taken off and you've just gone away a lot. Just look yeah. at this thing. <laughs> Somebody's got to hold the fort down. Each each one of those little circles is a new track. I know. <laughs> Happy so. for it. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. We're doing a new track this year. Don't you worry. Yeah. We've got a new track every year so far, ladies. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, I think it's, uh, Thunder Hill. I still want, I want to do Thunder Hill. That's the track I haven't done. I'm so glad you said that. Cause I was about to just jump on after whatever you said and say, here's why you're wrong. And here's why it's Thunder Hill. That's Thunder Hill. <laughs> now where's Thunder Hill? That's out West, right? Yeah. That's in, that's in, in Willows, California. California. Up, uh, it's uh, it's up uh, like an hour and a half north of Sacramento, so kind of in between Sacramento and Redding. Um, it's there's nothing out there. It's great. It's so much fun. For, so for I, think, East Coast. I think the that's the local SCCA region own it, or do they still? They, they, I think that's who built it. I, um, I don't know yeah, if it's, it's SCCA or NASA or one of those. It's it's super cool. And if you're like, I I came from a culture of track time down here where everything was a weekend. And that it's a bit, it's a little bit more a la carte. Like you could do a, a Saturday or a Sunday more now than you could. But you know, when I went, I moved out there in like 2012. I was used to the standard track day be here being like, you know, it's going to be both days. You're going to be committed for both days. And if you're a paying participant, it's like three to five hundred bucks. And then when I went out there, there were all these kind of like pop up track days where it might be like a day in the middle of the week, and my friend Ian and I would be able to go out there and do it or something like that. But you know, th- there ends up being some. Some really cheap track time at that track, Thunder Hill, too. So if you live in that region, if you're out in NorCal or something like that, uh, and you're trying to get into this, uh, there can be some relatively cheap track time to be had uh, at a place like Thunder Hill. Maybe even Sears Point, but for sure Thunder Hill. But just something to keep an eye on. All right. So if any of our listeners have a uh, track that they think is fun to drive or a track that they think is challenging or the track that they want to go, Roger is in training at gmail.com or Instagram or Facebook. Love to hear about it. How'd we do? Did we, did we cover some tracks? Got them all. We did. All right. No, well. no dispute, no disputing the opinions that we shared here today. None can be disputed. None shall be disputed. <laughs> That's right. Those well. are the words of Ben Dawson. That's right. <laughs> Dawson has spoken. I was I was heartened to hear that you're starting to focus on like lab times and sort of drilling down that detail. I was going to say the uh, I was talking to somebody about that and they're like, "What do you mean you never kept track of lap times?" I'm like, "It's not that I didn't keep track of lap times. I didn't worry about it." Yeah, you just weren't kind of basing anything on it or gauging. You know, yeah, I mean, you just you know it, but it's not a data point that's as significant. So you start chasing it, right? It's not like my weekend was made or not by a 132. You know. Right. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> so, and it's still not going to be. It's just kind of, you know, instead of, you know, going for, you know, ultra consistent, you know, I'm not saying I was ultra consistent, but going for ultra consistent, you know, lap after lap after lap endurance race. And we're going to have some sprint races and go see what we can do. Yeah. So, it's a uh, time trial. It's, just a, it's, a, it's a kind of a good benchmark to be keeping in your mind, too, when you sort of have like, you know, the fast guys are running this kind of time. Here's what we're mm-hmm. running. You know, it's just to me, a lap time isn't necessarily all about my own lap time, but you know, just context of what else is going on in a race, too. You know, yeah, that's that's like the one thing about lemons I, I'm not thrilled about is you, you don't really have a good way of judging yourself because the cars are so different. 
<laughs> they are, yeah. But I mean, then again, it's not really supposed to be, uh, you know, no, a compar- comparative competitive event, <laughs> which is one of the things I love about it. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, I know. It's it's just it, when you're when you start worrying about, you know, how am I doing? How's my times? Lemons yeah. is not the place to do it because you know yeah. it's like if you're in a fast car, you compete against the fast cars. But does that mean if they're a second faster than you, then they're driving better? Not necessarily, or vice versa. Right. Also, also I don't trust any lemons teams except like maybe Cerveza to have like a consistent driver squad either where like one guy's representative, you know, yeah, I might yeah. be able to go out there and smoke the his car and some, you know, and Jeff's mm-hmm. wacky ass old BMW like I did. But yeah, that may have been their slow guy too. You never <laughs> know. I'm not kind of awkward from that. Like, oh, I really stomped, stomped on those guys. And then again, it could just be some guy who's never been at their race track. Where's my monkey? Back monkey from the monkey back monkey. from the dead. All right. What's up? We we have both Wilson sisters. Yes. I mean, oh, this is my backdrop. Oh, I didn't have my I didn't have my gallery going there. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I was just talking to Bill. No, well, they just popped in. I got you. What's uh, what's going on with this backdrop? With the uh, well, we we just did a. You want a backdrop? I'll I'll give you a backdrop. Hold on, I got some, I got some new ones. <laughs> check check these bad boys out. Where's come on? Oh. <laughs> I, I feel like these are in the same room here. These two are in the same room. They are. That's not that's they not are. a backdrop. That's them being shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, cheek by jowl, if you will. Uh, oh, there you go, Bill. Terrible lighting. <laughs> oh, my lighting is way better in here. Don't worry about it. Okay, hold on. I got more. How about uh, how about this one for when race bar comes on? <laughs> my my son has finally figured out baby shark, and he can't talk a whole lot, but he's always like da, 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 da. <laughs> There you go. This is next for you then. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's, it's mail time. That's some nice one hand driving. Who's doing that? That would be uh, Miss Vicky. Oh, cool, cool, cool! You're slamming those gears. Yeah, but but what holding on to the whole Hulk. Look, no, look, look the, at my hand the, position. That's the Capri. <laughs> Sunday driving. Sunday driving. Because <laughs> uh, uh, you banging gears though. Look at you banging those gears. Bam, 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 bam. She's a dynamo. Getaway driver yeah. after a bank robbery. No, that's what happens when you when you shift one of those fine 1974 Ford Capri shifters. You know, you can do anything you want. Oh uh, man, look at that car! Car's moving around a lot though. We got that hand just like over here. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's not uh, exactly. Uh, it's so embarrassing, and Bill shows it all the time. I do. <laughs> I do. That poor portion just rolled by like what? <laughs> the, the truck just rolled by like what? Like, that's El Jefe just passed you, bit. Yeah, something on him. We really do. 